Hi guys, so this is a review of The Good Tarot by Colette Baron reed So this is a 78 card deck and a guidebook. Comes in a quest, quite a study box. It's quite tight to open and close. So I got these from Amazon.in and uh, I'm just going to do a quick review. So I've had this for a week now. And uh, it's Hay House cards and uh, the book is quite big so I haven't been through the whole book and uh, so from what I have understood um, so there are 22 major arcana cards and uh, 56 minor arcana cards and apart from the traditional cards you have a few cards like transformation call that sort of cards in the major arcana and a lot of the traditional meaning is um, quite not the same here in this tarot deck for example um, one of the things that I noticed today I'll get to it when I see the cards um, because it's overall I think a quite a, uh, the description of the cards is quite different let me just read one of the cards for you yes for example so you have the six of water which is equivalent to the six of cups yes nostalgia sweet memories old flames yearning for the security of the good old days so in the traditional meaning it's like rekindling a romance with an old flame that kind of thing uh, but if you read the description for example if i am being triggered to remember the past i can enjoy the warm memories but must recognize they are ephemeral emotion can color my recall and distort my understanding of what is happening today i acknowledge and heal old wounds I can experience security today enveloped in the arms of divine love. There is no need to return to the illusion of a golden era of yore because I can begin co-creating a better reality right now. Authentic healing and joyfulness will be mine if I stop rekindling the emotions of the past. So it actually is quite true because you, if you live your past, if you relive your past in your head over and over again it kind of gets to you because yes you remember the fond memories a lot of things your minds skip a lot of the bad emotions that you had to go through your mind skips those it's quite true but in the traditional tarot deck at least for me when i see six of cups for me it's like yes uh it's an old flame it's more of a positive vibe so here though it is a positive vibe it's still more self-empowering than uh, you know um, positive um, for example uh, five of cups so regret that kind of thing in the traditional tarot here though it says releasing grief allowing sadness to rise and fall forgiveness the ebb and flow of emotions i feel the fullness of my emotions so uh, another thing is that most of the descriptions start with i so it's like that's why i say self-empowering because for you if you are picking the star of yourself and you pick a card it's like yes i feel the fullness of my emotions as they wash through me the ebb and flow are part of life and i am present in my feelings today i fully forgive myself and others and let go of any emotions that were holding me back from acknowledging the truth i deserve the freedom that comes when i release what is no longer working for me see it's more of a feministic self empowering kind of thing uh, theme the whole thing i make amends to those i may have harmed when emotion was coloring my perceptions i surrender any resentments to the divine knowing they can be transformed into miracles fearless inventories lead to liberation so another one that i would like to so patience moderation 
This card reminds me that patience will bring me into recognition of an alignment to my purpose. All my needs are met even though I may not see it yet in the outer visible world. The angels are looking out for me. Moderation in all things is required right now. And a uh, couple of more cards. Um, so, so, this is a very, um, I mean, the illustrations, to be honest, are quite breathtaking because the uh, like very artistic work here the cards are very glossy um, a bit hard to shuffle but yes so for me these came in through the mail and they came in good condition uh, so when I was shuffling the first day when I was shuffling like I was just shuffling a lot of times to make those uh, the stickiness go away and one of the cards it came peeling off from here so i just peel that part off and it's been doing fine since um but that's that the visuals are very enchanting um that's what it's got this whole enchanted feeling so i'll just show you the cards one by one starting with the major arcana so so this is the full card. So it's a lot. Uh, it's most. It, it's kind of a feminine deck. There aren't many except for the kings. Um, uh, most of the cards are. It shows female figures. So it's the magician card. Kind of gives a Harry Potter vibe. Then you have the high priestess here. Um, so like I said about some other deck. Uh, if you see the reviews. Uh, it's a bit difficult to get the meaning from the cards, from the illustration of the cards. Like, if you are used to the tarot, uh, right away tarot, um, my mind, at least my mind, keeps going back to the, like, if I see, uh, if I see six of water in this deck, my mind instantly goes to the image of six of cups in the right away tarot. And that's how I kind of um, try to read it. But the guidebook, I think if I think you would have to learn the guidebook through and through, at least read it through and through to imbibe some of what Colette is trying to convey here. Or if you are just reading for yourself, you just pick a card and uh, see the description in the book. And that would be a good way to go. But if you are reading for someone else, You'd have to be quite thorough with the meanings she mean from the card. Or you could just read it intuitively. But, um, I mean, the images are quite beautiful. But um, reading intuitively, well, um, I'm not sure because and that's not quite what I do. So, yes. So, this is the High Priestess. You have the Empress you have the emperor so this is what i mentioned uh, i heard some people mention because here the emperor it's a lion dressed in the emperor's um in a in an emperor costume so that um, uh, it's it's fine by me you have the hierophant i mean the images are it's the it's got like this enchanted and uh, yet like a what do you call it like a you know like a god i can't get the word it's beautiful <laughs> so so the color theme is like a bluish turquoise bronze kind of look all the cards fall into those categories so this is the lover's card so it says love and again there's a lion and a girl so another thing is that they have numbers uh numbers here so this is the chariot you have the strength card the the hermit card the wheel of fortune justice the hanged man then you have like transformation patience 
which I very much like about this deck. Temptation. And another thing that I like about the good tarot is that, well, none of the cards, none of the cards are too, like, scary to pull. Like, if you get a tower card, and even the description, it's quite, like, it helps you see the positive side of the tower. And at least uh, the images, they are quite welcoming, as in you're not scared to pull out the tower or the devil card. The star card the moon card the sun card and you have call the world card okay so there is no devil so that's that then you have like the four elements so you have air instead of swords and uh, water instead of cups so you can see that they both have like the same kind of a color a color pattern and uh, then you have the coins as earth and uh, then you have wands fire so again these two come in like this bronzy brownish orangish kind of color and uh, i'll just quickly show you the cards so this is the king of king of fire the queen of fire the knight again like it's more feminist i would say because except for the kings and occasional like magician it's mostly women who are depicted in the cards so you have like instead of the uh, knight you have the messenger you have the page then this is the ace of wands ace of fire here at least two of fire three of fire four of wands so um, four of wands for me at least from the traditional um, tarot deck it's like a new beginning like a celebration marriage that kind of vibe uh, it's hard to kind of see that meaning from this card the five of fire the six of fire that's why I say because if you look at the uh, at the, at her book and if you see the description that's different so it's hard for you it's hard to correlate the meaning of the traditional right away tarot with the meanings of at least, or the images of the stick so the seven of fire the eight of fire the nine of fire the ten of fire then you have the king uh, a lot that's why i said a lot of the images though not similar because of the color combinations and the patterns it quite gives off the same vibe so this is this would be the king of swords the queen of swords there's an owl there again with the harry potterish feel you have the messenger of swords you have the page of swords then you have the so this would be equivalent to the ace of swords two of swords two of air three of air four of air five of air six of air seven of air eight of air nine of air ten of swords uh ten of swords so it doesn't quite give off that meaning unless you refer to the to the this deck's reference book so then you have water so this is the king of cups the king of water the queen of water the messenger and there are a lot of um horse fish horse fishes yeah so this is the messenger and this would be the page of cups or water so this is the ace of cups so ace of cups it's a shoe what's a horse horse fish is that what you call hippocampus yeah so yes i understand like ace of what uh, overflowing love 
contentment so at least from a female perspective for me yes this is um this would be a life partner who wouldn't mind uh, carrying your kids for you um that kind of a vibe so i understand that but again the ace of cups in the image um it's it's hard to correlate the image to the meaning of the card you have two of cups so a union with the soulmate so again it's two goldfish um three of water lots of goldfish horse fish sea horse sea horse that's it sorry sea horse <laughs> i yeah i can't believe i said horse fish anyway so four of four of cups five of cups six of cups again this was one uh, this is the card so um, six of cups seven of cups yeah this is to have like fantasies different options eight of cups letting go nine of cups you have a diamond big diamond there um 10 of cups well it's <laughs> it's yeah one of those so that's that sorry now with the coins again a bronzy white so you have the king it's more like that game of thrones guy and the queen of coins the knight or the messenger the page um see ace of coins so um it's the image again it's very enchanting it, it's it's very enchanting and i love the color i love the print i love the design except for maybe one or two cards um, i do quite love these but yeah you'd have to go through the you'd have to go through and memorize the book if you have to read it as as intended again the two of coins on three four of pentacles five of pentacles six seven oh it's got a violin i that's the first time i'm noticing that nine and the ten of pentacles so that is the good tarot um i actually personally knew that the images were a bit confusing i had seen one of the reviews on youtube before buying them but the it it just seemed it just looked so beautiful that i thought i would buy them and actually this was a birthday gift for me my mom got it for me i she told me she would buy me a deck and uh, this is the one i chose so yes thanks to my mom for the good tarot and i hope that with time i'll be able to read it like in the sense that mrs miss colette intended it to so that's the good tarot hope this helps i got this from amazon.in they came in pretty good condition so um uh, that's that hope you have a good day and uh, please do check out my other videos i am new to youtube and uh, so yes thank you